Hello and welcome to the official Vigilante channel. Today I will show you two methods for combining multiple assets from the Vigilante marketplace into your project. Follow these steps to streamline your work with our content. Watch the video until the end, where I will describe the errors you might encounter while merging assets. Also, ensure that your project uses Unreal Engine version 5.2 or higher. This is essential for compatibility with the latest assets from the Vigilante Marketplace. First, log in to the Vigilante Marketplace. Download the first asset from the list, along with any additional assets you want to use, and save the files in a convenient location. ZBD04 will serve as the base asset because it contains the latest updates to the base materials, effects, blueprints, and other components in the shared folder. Now extract the zip file ZBD04 and move the project folder to your desktop. Open the project that you extracted. Go to Project Settings and then to Inputs. In the top right corner, click Export and select Desktop. Name the file vigilanteinputs.ini. The first method is migrating from one project to another using Unreal Engine, which we recommend to avoid issues with our content. In the content drawer, select the Vigilante Movement folder, right-click and choose Migrate. Then select the path to the content folder of your project. Now go to the next project and repeat the steps. After repeating these steps, you will see a dialog box indicating that some files have the same names or are already in your project. Check the box Apply to All and click No. This way we avoid overwriting files in the shared folder. Watch the video until the end to see the next steps. The second method is not universal for migrating files but saves significant time when gathering all assets together. At this point, my project will be empty since I cleaned it up behind the scenes. Open the content folder of your project using File Explorer. From this point, we can start adding the necessary assets. Open the zip files of other assets. Go to the content folder in each asset's zip file. Move the Vigilante Movement folder into the content folder of your project. During the copying process, a dialog box will appear indicating that some files have the same names or are already in your folder. Click Skip These Files. This way, we avoid overwriting files in the shared folder. Repeat this process for all remaining assets to integrate them into your project. Now the steps will be the same for both methods. Check if one of the downloaded projects contains a plugins folder. If your project or plugin from the content uses different versions of Unreal Engine, refer to the description below and follow the steps in the pinned tutorial where I explain how to build the JSB Sim plugin for Unreal Engine 5. If you open the project by simply transferring the plugins folder from the assets to your project, you will encounter the following errors. The plugin was designed for build 5.10. The following modules are missing or built with a different engine version. Try rebuilding from source manually. After completing the steps in the tutorial where I explained how to build the JSB Sim plugin for Unreal Engine 5, open the JSB Sim folder, then Unreal Engine. The Vigilante content contains a modified version of the plugin. Move the plugins from the assets to the plugins folder of JSB Sim Project. Select UE Reference App.UpProject and right click. If you are using Windows 11, click Show More Options, then select Generate Visual Studio Project Files. Open the UE Reference App.SLN file. Navigate to the JSB Sim plugin folder, then Source and JSB Sim Flight Dynamics Model Editor. Open JSB Sim Movement Comp Visualizer. Paste the following command at the beginning of the file. Conclude canvas types.h. In Solution Explorer, select UER Efference App, right click on it, and click Build.
Copy the plugins folder into your project folder. Open your project and click Yes. Go to Plugins window and check if JSB SIM is enabled. Open the project settings and then to Inputs. In the top right corner, click Import, go to the desktop, and select vigilanteinputs.ini. This will add the inputs for the content you migrated to your project. In the content drawer, select the content folder, right click, and then choose Fix Up Redirectors or Update Redirector Reference. Confirm the action if prompted. After this, all links to moved or renamed files will be fixed. That's all for this tutorial. Now you have successfully integrated Vigilante assets into your project. This method ensures that you get the full capabilities of each asset from our marketplace. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please like the video and subscribe to the channel to stay updated with new tutorials. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.